Hey guys, welcome back to another scrap mechanic video and today we're gonna teach you some logic stuff and Icy Fruit is already banging his head like I want to show you this stuff <laughs> Yeah, sure As you can see and uh, yeah, see, see him twerking and, and wobbling all over the place he's, he's really into it So let's get into the epic stuff over here um, First off, we're gonna use uh, we're gonna show you the basics and then we're um, gonna show the other stuff and we're gonna cut the video in three parts. The very basics, the um, intermediate and then the advanced stuff with some examples. And uh, the examples will be pretty interesting. Uh, a lot of you will be using that thing over there, for example. But uh, yeah, let's get into the uh, basic stuff. This is the basic... Um, what was it? The uh, rising edge, edge. Yeah, yeah, the rising edge detector. So rising edge. If you change this to nor, then you have a falling edge detector. So each time you uh, uh, just unpress the button, then it goes uh, gives a signal. And if you make it X or then it X nor, yeah, X nor, then um, it will give a signal each time you press the button and release the button. So that's a dual edge detector then then we got the simple pulse subtractor okay uh, no that's the pulse subtractor this is another edge detector but then it gives you a longer pulse so that one gives you a one tick pulse over there this one it depends on the length of the timer. so the timer here is hooked up between uh, the not gate at the start and the and gate at the end then the length of the pulse is going to be however the longer the timer delay is plus one tick. So this is a 12 tick timer except it's actually 14 because timer is always two ticks longer than what they say. And then the actual pulse will be 15 ticks. Yeah, plus the tick it takes for this gate to turn on. Guess this is delayed as well. Um, yeah. We Something I will... Input. <laughs> Yeah, then it will glitch out and it won't be really useful anymore. But um, we're gonna probably never use this. <laughs> yeah, probably not. And then we got the other thing over here. This was yeah. the pulse subtractor, right? Yeah, this is the pulse subtractor. So when you've got also like five ticks, say. Oh, actually, this is a 21 tick timer, so you won't get a pulse of five ticks going through. Um, so. Here you need at least 24 ticks pulse to get an output. Yeah. Subtract 24. So short 24. pulses won't go through this thing, only longer pulses, longer yeah. than 24 ticks will go through this thing. It will sort uh, yeah. subtract and if you... 24 ticks from E. Except it doesn't show up very well on my screen because I'm Brent's world, so I've got lag. <laughs> Well, and if you wanted to make a uh, pulse, um, what was it? The, the... Same thing. This. No, the, um... oh, oh, a filter. Yeah, the, the pulse filter. If you want to make a pulse filter, then you need to add a pulse lengthener after this. So you get the original pulse back. And uh, yeah, that was basically it for this thing. But the problem is spam. It cannot handle spam. So we got this thing, it won't allow short pulses to go through, and it can handle spam. It's basically just a series of ands, and you got the input going in all ands. And then, yeah, you got your input over here, and then got this one is on, but this one isn't on yet, because the previous state was, this is not on, this is on. And that's why this is not on, and all of these, and then it goes through this through this chain of ants and you kind of just need a long signal to go through this thing and that was basically it just a pulse remove no was it subtractor yeah subtractor basically a six tick subtractor yeah um yeah then we got this thing this is the pulse lengthener so the opposing thing of that over there and it makes it longer and um, it's almost not noticeable if you do it with just a button. 
But if we hook up the thing we learned at first over here, the uh, rising edge detector, and we hook the rising edge detector to this thing, so it will give one tick output over here, but the output over here will be way longer, as you can see over there. And maybe if we add a timer, it will be easier to see. I'm not sure. Uh, six six ticks will would fill the whole timer. Yeah, as you can see, it fills the whole timer. And uh, on my screen, it does. It should on yours. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. And yeah, if you do it with just the one tick, you'll see the big difference between the outputs of the two. It, that's just two lines filled and there's almost the whole timer filled. Alright, then we got... Um, we're gonna first do this yeah. thing, the single creator, because this yeah. thing uh, uses some logic that we learn over there. But it kind of is the same subject as the panel we are on right now. But, um, so this is using another chain of gates, and these are just and gates, or, or gates, gates. Or gates, or gates. Yeah, and so you just yeah, yeah we have a one tick generator, and you hook it up to or gates depending on what you want the signal to be. So this is we've got nine gates in the length of the signal, yeah. and it will go zero first. Then the next one's connected, so it'll be a one, and then a one, and then a one, and then it's not connected, so it'll be a zero. One zero one one. We should get so, three ones, and then a one, and then two ones. On the out. Yeah, and yeah, that's basically how it works. It just puts the signal on the chain, and the chain carries the signal on. And yeah, that's basically how it works. Um, this thing cannot handle spam though. Yeah, well, very quick spam. I cannot spam that quick with the uh, button, but um, we'll handle spam in, in the subject span two panels further. Uh, then we got this thing. This is basically also a pulse extender, but a better one for way longer pulses because this thing it's for short, very short pulses to make them a little longer. But this thing can make way longer. So if you give a signal, then you see it, it stays on two seconds. And uh, yeah, it's very compact for just two seconds of extra delay. You can also do 15 seconds. Uh, delay. No, it's not delay. It's staying on. So if you want it to be 15 seconds on, then you'd need a lot of AND gates uh, or gates if you do it with this method. Now, this thing can handle spam because it's using an XOR memory cell, a T flip flop actually, but it's converted into a RS. RS, RS, yes, not a D flip flop, but an RS. So set reset. And um, because of the or uh, the end gate over here, and that's why it's um. Oh wait, yeah, because of an added end gate, it's uh, set as an um, RS latch instead of an T uh, T flip flop. But um, yeah, you, it can handle spam. You can see that if we hook up this thing, and it's basically a two tick spammer, just an nor an end and an end, and then this nor will turn this on, and then will that turn on, that on, and the one signal on the or uh, nor will turn the nor off, and then it'll, yeah, it'll loop. Now if we disable this, it doesn't really matter for the nor over here to have an extra input, and then you'll see it can handle spam very well. It has no problem with problems with spam, as you can see. So, um, on to the next thing. We'll explain the T flip flop now. So the T flip flop, it needs a one tick input because it's an XOR memory cell. And um, yeah, XOR, it turns off on an even number. Yeah, it turns off on an even number or turns on when uh, it's an yeah. uneven number. And so if you have a signal and you give it a one tick pulse, then each of these will turn on. And because it's the previous one is on and it's in loop mode, it will stay on. 
and that's how it stays on. But if you give it another signal, then it will be even for all these gates, and then they all will turn off. Now, these are three gates. This is not compact. And that is why we found a no glitch on Discord in uh, when messing around with cheese and stuff. And that's this thing. You, you're probably asking yourself, how is this thing on? Because it's on right now and it has no signal in. Well, that's because it's a self-wired uh, XOR gate. It's wired to itself and it's done in the cheese and that's impossible to do in game. So you'll have to download it from the workshop. I'll put a link down in the description below. And um, yeah, it basically works the same as the XOR gates over there because it's also looped, looped to itself, as you can see. And basically if we do that and we give it some, yeah, you can show it on your video now and uh, do stuff. But um, yeah, if you do that, you have this basic thing and it's the same over here. So flipping it. And then we have um, these two extra inputs. If you add these together and you put them in a NOR, then if these are on, then this input will be able to go through. And that way, no way, if these are off, then this input will be able to go through and it will be able to turn them on. So if you turn them off by flipping it, then this will turn it on, but it won't flip it back. So this is basically a set. It sets the, uh, the, the memory cell. Also, this is glitch free, spam free. It can handle any spam. Um, then this one is anded all these together and put them in the AND gate of the, um, the pulse shortener. So basically the signal will travel through if everything is on. And that way you'll flip it only when they are on and basically resetting them. So this is a basic reset. Now on to the next stuff and <laughs> you can you can do I'll, I'll this. Do, yeah. Okay, so this is a D flip flop. And basically the idea is it's got a data input, which is this button. It's got an update input, which is the switch. Uh, sorry, that's the other way around. The data is the switch. Yeah. It is the button. This is the data. So you can hit the switch and nothing will happen. Then when you press Load the button, it. it will look at whatever's in the switch and it will store that as a memory value. Now I can switch the switch back off and it's still on. <laughs> yeah. But now if I have the switch off and hit the button, switch off. So this is your basic input, and this is uh, save the input uh, over here. This button, basically, that's that's how it works, basically, right? So, data, data is a zero. Load it, uh, save it, and it saves a zero. Data is a one. Save it, and it stays a one even if the data changes afterwards. But the data cannot change while you're saving, though. Yeah. Isn't that? It takes three ticks for it to save. If the, if the data input changes in that time, then it'll glitch. And it'll just yeah. start flickering. And there's a real-life term for that, but I forgot. So, if you happen to know it right now... Uh... Okay, like never mind. Oscillating. <laughs> yeah, it will it will oscillate if you do that. But um, yeah, there was another term for that. But whatever. Um, all right, all right. Next thing. This is the basic one. This thing, everyone knows. This thing uh, can use it for his tutorial. Uh, it's the most basic one. Simple RS latch RS. Normal RS latch. Yeah. Uh, just saves the value, but it cannot handle one ticks. It cannot handle spam. It cannot handle anything. It's 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 Can't the worst thing. Lift. Yeah. Also, you, if you take this on the lift, it will spam and it will glitch out. This is the worst thing to use. This <laughs> never use this. Never. <laughs> oh god. And this 
If you're using something like this, then just use this one. This is basically also the same, this is an RS latch. Uh, this sets it, and this resets it. And it's basically two AND gates and an OR gate, um, hooked in, uh, looped. And then this is the enable line, kinda. But so yeah, when you trigger the OR gate, it goes on. And when you turn off the AND gate, it goes off. Yeah. That's basically how it works. So this you can take it on the left, this thing, but it will still not handle short pulses nor yep. spam. The only so, thing that can handle short pulses is the, the XOR T flip flop. Yeah. Everything so else we, is, needs a three tick pulse. Yeah. So we suggest using this thing in every one of your builds. <laughs> it's just basically the best thing to use. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Over to the next thing, and uh, this will be cut. So, see you in the next video.